Let's do engineering with NIMIDAC. In this short video, we characterize an active filter designed with the OPA277 op-amp. First, we simulate the circuit in NI Multisim, then compare the behavior with the real breadboarded circuit. First, we open Multisim and use the Bode analyzer to calculate and plot the simulated response of the circuit. You'll notice from the plot that the circuit is a low-pass filter. Then, changing the source from a simulated MIDAC to a real MIDAC, we can then compare the real and simulated results on the same plot. In this case, we see that the math does indeed work, but at the same time, there are observable differences in the simulated and real-world measurements. However, in an educational setting, you often want the students to be able to generate a Bode plot by hand, manually exercising the circuit with a function generator and an oscilloscope. For this, we can use the NI Elvis MX instruments, accessible from the instrument launcher, to observe the behavior of the real circuit. Once both instruments are open, the oscilloscope can be configured to show both source signal and the resulting signal at the same time. Once the appropriate magnitude, triggering settings, and time base are established, we can then interactively adjust the output frequency. You will notice that the filter is an inverting amplifier and that as the frequency increases, the resulting signal is attenuated. Therefore, it's a low-pass filter. Using the cursors, we can then measure the attenuation and the phase shift. Students can easily make all of the measurements needed in order to generate the Bode plot by hand. To learn more about this and other ways students can do engineering with NIMIDAC, visit ni.com slash mydac.